Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge and welcome to Football School, which unsurprisingly is a game where we are going to build a school dedicated to football. So we start with very, very little and then we work our way up. We even only have three players to start with, so we play three aside matches. So that's how lowly we start and we've got no training facilities and nothing nice and eventually we can buy lovely things. We can get ourselves some proper training facilities, a little media centre and a shop and all that kind of stuff. Stuff, and it looks very very lovely apparently it is by the same people that made boxing school and gladiator school now i've not played any of those but if you've seen those games this might look a little bit familiar to those also just before we begin i know it's called football school this is because it's football as we would refer to it over here in europe so everywhere else i believe might call it soccer we are calling it football because that's the name because you know in american football they don't really use the feet very much do they normally we see them picking it up and throwing it with their hands hands. So we're talking football as in the football that you can see just here that this chap with the kind of amazing hair and uh, this chap here has got a football I and mean, this is a football because you kick it with your feet. So yes it's that kind of football school. So um, yeah it's on Steam right now if you're interested there are links as always to the Steam store page if you want to go and check it out and wishlist it and buy it and all that kind of stuff then you can do and I think we shall just dive straight in and start ourselves a new football school. Okay, so the first job is to actually set everything up. So create your football club. Today is the first day as the new owner of a football club in the small town called Pineville. Good luck, thank you very much. So starting conditions, I don't think we can change these by the look of it. So we start with two club points. They're used for club development to gain upgrades and improvements. 4,000 monies, okay, that's fine. So we uh, pay the players and pay rent to use our arena, as it calls it in this. And we start with three players in the team roster. You will be able to recruit more players once you unlocked increased roster size. Okie dokie, so we can't change any of those. Uh, we can change our kit. Okay, so we change the flag and it changes the kit accordingly. Okay, right, there looks like to be quite a lot of those. Oh my goodness me, there's absolutely loads. That's got a mountain on it, that's nice. And then obviously we're not going to be called Pineville United and we are not going to play at the somewhat boringly named Town Stadium. So let's sort this out. Let's pick a name and a stadium name and choose our flag and therefore our kit. There we go. We shall call our team TGC United FC City because because why not? TGC, obviously the geek covered. And then we've got ourselves three suffixes that football teams have. So we've got United and FC and City. I like that. That mixes lots of things in. It makes us very inclusive. The arena is going to be the Yorkshire Gold Arena because, of course, we're sponsored by Yorkshire Gold. As often happens in football these days, the grounds get sponsored. So, yes, we are sponsored by Yorkshire Gold. I don't think they give us any actual money. I don't think we get any money from the Yorkshire Tea people who make Yorkshire Gold, which is a lovely brew, but I think they probably just give us loads of tea. They probably just give us lots and lots of tea to keep us going, which is marvellous. I'll absolutely take that. And then the flag, there's loads of these. There are absolutely loads of these. But unfortunately, there's not anything that looks sort of suitably geek company. There's no blue sort of yellow crossover. So um, we've gone for this because it looks nice and lovely and welcoming. It's just some lovely hearts look. They're really friendly and nice. I like that. So, OK, right. So we've got all that sorted. I think we can now continue. Create your team. So we've got Jones, Morrison and Hensley. OK, we can re-roll them if we want. All right, you're a striker. Strikers have the special ability to kick the ball so hard that everyone it hits gets knocked out. Uh, are we supposed to do that? I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> I think we're supposed to put the ball in the goal, not into people's heads. Primary focus is to score goals, yes. Um, you're a midfielder. Right, I can see where this is going. Midfielder has a special ability to regenerate stamina for his teammates when he's handling the ball. Primary focus is to support the team. Yeah, that makes sense. And then Hensley is a defender, right? I think we saw that coming. They have the special ability to tackle down and knock out opponents. Primary focus is to stop the opponents. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that the footballers that I've seen hit the ball so hard at people they knock them out. And then the defenders are not supposed to knock out opponents. Yes, they can tackle them. They can tackle the opponents to get the ball off them. I don't think they're supposed to knock them out. What happens if we re-roll? Oh, we get out. Ah, right, so there's no stats as such. There are no actual statistics, it just changes them into a different role. So given that we've only got three people, it might make sense to have a striker, a midfielder and a defender. I think that's probably a pretty sensible approach. Oh, and now we get to choose a perk as well. So a starting perk. Okay, so we can have four of the fans. 
Start with Club Marketing Rank 2 and we gain 20% more fans per day. So that affects influence, fame rating, reputation, tickets and merchandise. Okay, that seems appealing. A skilled team. All players in the starting team begin at level two. That also sounds quite good, doesn't it? This perk gives all three starting players plus one in all stats from the beginning. Plus one kick, body, stamina and speed. That seems probably quite good because we'll probably be better than other teams who do not have those abilities. So, okay, good business. Start with the club shop rank one and 50 products. So we get a club shop from the beginning for no additional cost with 50 products in storage. Sell merchandise and player shirts every day to generate extra income. Total sales is based on club popularity and total fans. Or coaching powers. Start with all five manager skills at rank one. Okay, so there's manager skills as well. Use manager skills to help your team out in matches. Knock out the enemy team. Give your players speed, stamina, or kick boost. And, I mean, this is a little bit worrying. There's some potions just here. Or we can randomise it. So we'll just pick whichever one it wants to. Um, I'm not so bothered about those two. I mean, either we go for 20% more fans, which will give us more money, and then access to do more things. Or... We pick this, we pick a skilled team, so our teams start off better. However, at some point we're going to hire extra people, aren't we? We're going to get more people. We're going to have more than the three starting players. So the three starting players there will be good, but then the new people will not be. Whereas this, I think just, we get 20% more fans per day, no matter what is going on. And that means we get more money. More money means we can invest in things like, I don't know, training facilities or coaches or whatever. Let's go for this. Let's go for marketing rank two, please. And here we go. So this is week one. So there are no events planned. That's nice. Um, we're applying for a license to become a registered football club that can apply for competitions and participate in tournaments. That would be useful. 17% complete there. The clubhouse is unlocked. The club registration process has started and three new players have joined the team. Okay, so we've got some goals. So the goals are to open the clubhouse menu Okay, that doesn't sound too tricky. I think we can just about manage that. Open the team roster menu and negotiate player contracts. Okay, and then go to the next day as well. Uh, okay. Ah, right, okay, so it begins. You are now in control of a football club with a clubhouse building, basic training facilities, and $4,000 in the bank. First order of business should be to meet your players and negotiate contracts. You'll find the documents down to the right in the next menu. Good luck. Okay, thank you. I suspect we may need it. Oh my goodness me. Is this... <laughs> this is the state of things, is it? So um, I assume these slots are where other things would go when we build them. So shops and whatever else, training things and medical centres and what have you. Um, this, is that our clubhouse? I assume that's our clubhouse. That is terrible. Okay, what's that? Clubhouse menu. Ah, well, the, the thing said go to the clubhouse menu. Hooray, we've completed a task. Okay, so we can upgrade this, can we? This is your base of operations. It's basic. Yeah, I'd say it's basic. <laughs> it's a shack. It's a wooden shack. Um, club operation speed, 0.2. Not sure what that means. Not entirely sure what that means. Um, we have a conference room. It's got office equipment in, but it does not have a VIP lounge. We don't have a training facility. Ah, we can get one of those. How do we get one of those? Um... We can do that. Next level cost is one little house and a thousand monies. Oh, it's up here. Ah, so we could spend one of our two club points on getting a training facility in. Ah, okay. And a thousand money as well. Okay, well, let's not do that right now. So there's all these other things. We get staff offices. Um, yeah, they can help you out in certain areas. The club shop, which is one of the choices that we could have had. How we pick the perk. A relax center, a TV studio, a factory. Oh, it makes our own goods. Oh, crikey. Okay. Um, club development, leader groups. Oh, my word. There is an awful lot going on. Team upgrades. Ah, team roster size. We might want to increase that. And manager skills. Ah, now, yes, this could have... Um, we could have had one in each of these had we picked the appropriate perk for that. Um, okay, right. There's a lot there. What was our other, What were the other things we needed to do? Um, go here. Team roster. That was it. Um, check the current progress. Okay. So, these are our players. Um, right, okay. What do we do with them again? Is that the goals thing? That's got a mark on it. Negotiation. Send contract offer to a player. Okay, Jones. Ah, okay. So, Jones's contract has expired, I assume. Okay, we can't come out of that anymore. Um, Jones. 
would you like $23 a week? I will send you that offer. And, um, okay, you said go away, but I'll give you 25 Okay, let's, let's do, oh, okay, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, we can go from 23 to 28 He offered 25 I'll offer 23 again. Let's send that. He said 25 I'll accept that offer, if only because I can't make it say 25 a week. <laughs> okay, so we're paying Jones 25 What about the other ones? Do we click that now? Okay, right, another contract for Morrison. Okay, have... Well, I feel like we should pay you the same. How about 23 a week? You counter off a 24 a week. Okay, fine. And the last one is Datsun. You're the defender. Okay, what about 20 a week? You want 22 a week? Okay, fine. So we've done that. Where was that goals thing? Oh, there. Ah, club goals. Okay, so go to next day. Okay, and they're all ticked off. Weirdly enough, those ticks for me are backwards. I, I would do a tick in, in a mirror re a reverse of that. As in, it would go up to the top right. Kind of like, it'd start here and go down and then go up like that. Okay, fine. Right, go to next day. How do we do that? Do we click day? Do we click Do we click the day? Uh, I don't know how to go to the next day. It's not been overly explained. Uh, <laughs> any ideas how we go to the next day? Any suggestions? Is it in here somewhere? I am not entirely sure. Uh, right, okay. Well, we've kind of fall at the first hurdle there because I don't know how to move it on. Oh, it's here. Oh, so this thing is next action. So if there's some actions that we have to deal with, like making people sign their contracts, it appears down here. Now there is nothing left that we have to do. It's going to take us to the next day. Okay, well, there we go then. So we have completed our daily goals. We are 25% of the way through the club registration. Um, okay, so you've done some practicing, I assume. You've done some, some training or something. I don't know. Okay, let's go to the next day. Um, the clubhouse has been unlocked. Okay. I thought the clubhouse already was unlocked. Um, yeah, club goals. Do those things. <laughs> it looks the same. Oh, day two. So week one is just going to be us kicking about waiting. Club goals reach. Great job. Your club has gained one more upgrade points. Access the clubhouse to develop your club. Choose wisely where to spend your points. Ah, so we have a third one of those. I think a training facility has got to be on the cards. They train every day to improve their stats and practice their skills. At the moment, I'm paying those people, our three players, they just sat at home watching daytime television. I think we should spend, it's a quarter of our money and one of our upgrade points. But yeah, I think we go for that. Yes, please. Oh, right. It literally does it like that. You don't have to confirm or anything. It just does it. Okay. <laughs> So we've got ourselves 10% training experience every day. Okay, offices we could have, the club shop we could have. Or do we just keep that for a bit? Um, do we just keep these points or do we go to club development? Leader group, we can't pick that. We could pick club marketing to up that for, oh, it's two of our points. Uh, travel agency, what does that do? Arrange all travel plans for the team in Stormhome, Pacifica and Kinantu. What? Okay, a fan club. Oh, a fan club might be good. Help those dedicated fans start an official fan club. Increase the chance of gaining fans and reduce the chance of losing fans after a defeat. The spokesman for the fan club will become a member of the club board. Oh yeah, let's get a fan club. That sounds good. Yes, we'll have one of those. And the spokesman for TGC United FC City is Bob Erickson, 54-year-old pub owner. Hello, Bob. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, so there are eight members of the Level 1 Fan Club. <laughs> I like that. That is very good. Um, I don't know what that is. Condition Labs? Um, okay. Superior Technology to Restore Player Condition. Oh, I see. And then National Glory. Do we go for one of these things? So we can't have team roster size. Intense training, expert instructors. Let's keep it. Let's keep that final point, because I don't know if we might need it for something significantly better. So, okay, so move the day on. Am I supposed to be telling you to do something? Should I be telling you to train? I'm not entirely sure what you should be doing. We gained two new fans. I don't really know how, but we did. That's good. Oh, there's a big building at the back. What's that? Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got new things. We've got different things here. So the club gained one new fan. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, assign players to different training things. Time to practice. The team is waiting for you in the training facility. 
Okay, that must be what that building is at the back that we can't quite see. Training is to improve stats that determines how hard a player can kick the ball, how accurate he can shoot, or how fast he can run. If you sign a player to train, it will drain his condition per day. To recover condition, you need to send them home to rest. Ah, oh. So training is unlocked. Improve player's stats and skill. Your club now has access to your very own training facility. I know, we just built it. Here we can do that. Click training in the menu. Uh, aha, okay, training. So we want you to do training intensity and condition labs. Ah, we don't have one of those. Can we tell you what to train in? So do we get to pick what you're doing? Because I think the goal said one was in kick, one was speed and one stamina, was it? Well, let's have our striker doing doing better at doing the kicking of the ball. We'll have you doing speed, as it were, as in working on your speed. Don't do speed, don't do drugs, kids. And then um, we'll have you working on stamina. Or was that not the one that we're supposed to have done? Oh no, oh no, if I picked the wrong one, hang <laughs> on, what was our goals? Oh no, assign a player to rest at home. Oh, okay, maybe I need to make the other guy rest at home because he's quite tired. Um, Okay, but you're doing stamina, you're doing speed, you're doing kick training. I love it, it's called kick training. So you're kicking the ball, you're jumping over little tiny hurdly things, and you're just on a treadmill forever, which is a nightmare. Um, okay, I don't think we can do anything else. So I think we'll just move it on. What's that do? The economy. Oh, I see. So this is finances. Okay, fine. That is a finances screen. Um, bills inbound, 71 monies. Yeah, that's not good, is it? But we've got 3,000, so we will be fine. Okay, right. Move it on to the next day. And now look, they've got a progress bar now. So they're actually progressing through and something is happening. So they're actually developing. We've gained a new fan <laughs> who's come to our excellent facilities. <laughs> they're amazed at this place. Okay. Um, oh, oh, hello. You're an interesting sort of character, right? You are. Don't, there's no smoking in here though, please. If you could put that down, thank you. Message from the mayor. Greetings. So you are the new owner of TGC United FC City. I am Mayor Stevenson and I want to welcome you to our little town. I also want to offer you my help to get you started. I suggest a friendly match versus our neighbouring town, Darfield, in a couple of days. I will call their manager and set it up. Okay, that would be excellent if you could. Local opponent, Darfield. Your team is accepted to play a friendly game versus a local opponent called Darfield at their home arena. Well, you silly man. Oh, there he is, look. He's actually walked in. Friendly matches are a good way to practice, try your tactics, and level up your players outside of competition. Oh, no. Try our tactics? Have I got to be tactically aware? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so when? where's the... Where was the calendar? When do we find out what's happening? Upcoming events. Darfield. Okay, well, I want to assign a player to go home. <laughs> Can I do that? I want this person to go home. I want you to rest at your house because your condition, you're you're quite tired. Okay, so you've gone home for a little sleep, but I suspect you might well get dragged back in in a moment when we end the day because we're going to go and do a friendly game, I think. Ah, right. You've got some of your condition back. You've got some crazy star things jumping around. Oh, did that mean did we did we level up in kicking and, and whatever that was, stamina? Maybe we did. Okay. Next day, we gained another new fan? Is that happening every day, or is that just the latest latest activity? Um, and when are we playing Darfield Park? It says upcoming, but I don't know when. Um, oh, okay, it's fine. It's all fine. Time for tactics. One part of your job is to coach your team. In the future, you might afford to hire experts to take care of this for you, but not today. The team is eager to hear your first game plan. I haven't got one. Start with how you want the players to position themselves on the field. Click Custom Formation in Menu to set up the tactics. Okay, so Strategic Mastermind. Your players' positions on the field can be the key to victory. Well, I've only got three, and I think their positioning is fairly obvious. <laughs> We've got a forward, a midfielder, and a defender. One at the front, one in the middle, one at the back. You now have access to create your custom formation, so try it out in the next game. Shape your own tactics. Use the arrows to move the player to a custom position. You can try out many ways. Okay. This is intriguing. Right, you are. So we'll go into the tactics bit. Um, I mean, you're the defender. I feel like you should be more... You should be more central. And you should possibly be... Now, What if you're left-footed, that would be perfect. But of course, there's a massive gap over here now. But I kind of feel like you should be a little bit more at the back. We'll bring you in this side. A 2-0-1. Okay, we'll go for that formation. 
So Datsun, pass it to Morrison. Morrison, run it up the pitch and pass it to Jones. Jones, bang it into the back of the net. We win 5 0 or whatever. That would be glorious. Okay. So we'll do that. What else is our goals? We've got any other goals? Set up team formation. Oh no, we've done it then. Okay. It's all looking pretty good. That thing is still taking its time to tick on. Great job. We've got two more upgrade points. Ah, we can go there and spend them. Oh, okay, right. We'll better do that now. Now we've got three of them. I don't mind doing it now. Let's get ourselves... What about one of these? Like a team upgrade. Expert instructors. Consult the best instructors and boost training experience gain per day for all players. That's one of those points. So let's get that in because that makes sense that affects all the players so okay so we'll have that so we get a little boost when we do training okay that's good um not so bothered about those manager things right now what can we get in here um national glory increase bonus hype effect from having your players in the national team oh, yeah i think we're a little way off that right now um how about the club shop we can have a thousand get a club shop see if that makes any money okay and then staff offices uh, they, uh, what do they do? Hire experts to help you out in certain areas. Each office will have only one spot for a staff member. Hmm, not so excited about that. Uh, relax center. That's where they can go and refill their condition. Ah, rather than going home, let's do that. Let's give them that. So what do they do there? They get bonus condition gain per day. 100% condition they get now. Oh, and those little things. There's a club shop that's <laughs> just appeared. Oh, this is excellent. Okay, we've got we've got no stock. We've got nothing in stock at all, have we? Um, okay, I don't know how you order stock. I'm not sure. And that is the relax center, which I don't think we can do anything with. Can we order some stock for the shop? That would be lovely if we could do that. That would be excellent. I would like to put some stuff in the shop, but I don't think we can. No, maybe we come to that later, possibly. Maybe there's a thing that we can do later on. Um, okay, well, hang on a minute. Training-wise... You, and you all need to go and just have a rest. You're all just too tired. You're all going to be exhausted. There we go. All three of you go and have a lovely little sleep. Okay, so they've had a nap. Their conditions have all gone back up. That club registration thing is taking an absolute age. However, the club shop, yeah, it does say there's no products. The club shop is closed. I don't know how to make the products. I would love to be able to get some products in to sell in the shop. Maybe we will figure it out at some point in the future. Okay, what are we doing now then? The Relax Center has been upgraded. Oh, yeah, we've done those things. So spend a skill point in the team coach menu. That is very annoying because I have just spent all our skill points on some other things. Unlock a perk for any player. Uh, upgrade a player perk to rank two and reach 50 fans. We're on 19 right now. That seems a little bit distant. Unlock a perk for any player. What does that mean? How do we do perks? How do we get a perk? I'm not entirely sure. No perk. We have no perk yet. Maybe we just keep training until they get a perk and until we get some other stuff. Player stats. Oh, they've actually got statistics. Ah, okay. So Jones is the most famous, then Morrison, then Dotson. Um, okay, and they're valued. <laughs> he's, valued he's valued at a dollar more than Morrison, but colossally three dollars more than, than, than Dotson. Dotson must be fuming about that. Oh, poor Dotson. Okay, well, we can't do anything right now. So let's continue. In fact, what are they What are they doing? Do you want to rest them again? I think we might rest them a second time. Given that he is our defender, let's get Dotson training in body so he can become stronger. So we can sort of, you know, get people out of the way a little bit easier. So we'll do that. You two can continue being asleep and having a little rest. So that's all fine. We don't have one of those points available anymore to go and get the other perk things. So I think we might need to wait. I think we might need to wait until... Oh, where's where's the thing? Hang on, is it down there? Oh, no, it's our game. <gasps> it's our game day. Oh, okay. I hope the two resting people are okay for this. But okay, right, here we go. Um, I don't really know how this works. We have a custom formation. The mentality is balanced and the focus is balanced. And their mentality and focus are the same, but they do play a 2 0 1. So we've got two at the back, no one in midfield. So we might be able to completely exploit that because we have got someone in midfield, and one up front. Our team skill somehow <laughs> is two, and theirs is one. Okay, so there's going to be 16 people watching. Presumably, everyone's mum <laughs> is going to watch. Okay, how is this going to work then? So we've got on a little bus, we've travelled to their arena. 
which is in the desert for some obscure reason. And here we go. Right, I don't need to control this, do I? I know, right, we just watch, because we're the manager. Right, Morrison has been knocked out. I That can't be a thing. Morrison is back up. Okay, Gooding. Oh, oh goodness me. <laughs> Goodling has scored. He bounced it off of the walls. I don't know we could do that. I don't know we could ricochet it off of the sides. Um, okay, okay. I don't think we can... Can we do anything else? Oh, no. Oh, he's, we've got the ball. <gasps> Yes! Ah, oh, it's our first goal! And it's it's the guy at the back. It's the defender. The defender has just scored our first goal. Oh, forward, you should be ashamed of yourself. Right, Jones, I expect to see you being better, please. You've knocked out this person. Morrison, hit it, Morrison. Oh, no, we did not hit it enough. Let's come back to Dotson. Dotson's over to Goody. It's off the post! <laughs> it came off the post! Hit it, Dotson! Hit it! Kick it! Oh, no! <laughs> He just got completely mangled onto the floor. Oh my goodness. Oh, all my people are lying down. Dotson is having a fight. I don't really know what's happening. Morrison. Morrison, go get that ball. Go get that ball, my good sir. And then just hit it toward the goal. Oh, Dotson, the, the, it was waiting for you there. Jones. Oh, Jones is a terrible shot. Oh no, they're going to score. They're going to score. The goal is open. The goal is open. He's got a spinning thing on his head. And... Oh, it's across the face of God and it's in. Oh, no. Ramriette has scored. <laughs> wow. Look at that. The clones have come to watch us. Okay, come on. We need to get another goal in here. You lot are just... This is just in, this is embarrassing now. Come on. Come on. Just hit it, hit it toward the goal. He tried to tackle. Good. Goodling is going to... Oh, no. We've got it. Jones. The, the goal is waiting for you, Jones. And... And... Oh... <laughs> Nearly went in. And another shot. Jones is down. In fact, there's a, there's a lot of unconscious people there. This is not working. Our tactics are not working. Can we change tactics mid... Can we change it mid-game if we paused? Can we bring that little panel up? Can we pause a second? Are we allowed to change our tactics? Um, Yeah, okay. Let's go for a 2-0-1. And let's go for chase the ball and shoot let's just go for a very strong sort of attacking thing oh <laughs> oh we scored there i think we scored after the final whistle but you know what we'll take that it's fine so we lost our first game was a loss which is a bit sad we have gained some xp and uh dotson or datson whichever one is got uh, two lots got a big load of xp gain got a super xp boost for being our best player, maybe. But yeah, that, that did nothing to us at all. That did absolutely nothing. Your club might lose some fans in the next two days. All it did was make things worse. Okay, fine. Right, there we go. Can we have some more friendlies? Because that sort of helped a bit in to get some XP. Because uh, we can't complete any of these goals. <laughs> because, because we don't have any more skill points. So we need to get some more skill points before we can actually do this. I've got no skill points to spend in the team coach menu but we might never get a skill point again because we can't complete the club goals. <laughs> I've catched 22 does. I think we need to wait for this thing to finish. We need to get our license sorted. Okay, so we can spend skill points. Upgrade your player's special ability or pick a perk that can improve their dribbling, shooting, goalkeeping or scoring. Your players earn skill points by gaining match experience based on player rating from all football matches, even friendly games. Open the team coach menu. Okay, so it's this here. So what can we do with you? Ah, we can choose a perk, can we? So we've got enough to choose perks. Okay, I'll absolutely pick a perk then. Uh, well, you, you are our goal scorer. So we'll we'll pick a goal scoring perk for you because that makes perfect sense. So faster reaction time when you're attacking near the goal. Okay, you're our midfielder. So we'll pick a perk for you. Um, do we want you to be a shooter? Shoot more often with lower stamina cost or dribble longer. We might want you to dribble because that means you can dribble your way through the midfield. And then you, Datsun or Dotson, I think it might be Dotson. Um, what do we want from you? Faster reaction time when defending near the goal. Immune to power shots near the goal. Yes, please. That would be perfect. <laughs> I think that is exactly what we need. And then we can level up these if we want, can we? So we've got a couple of points to spend. So we could up this special ability which is a power tackle. So we can go, yes, please, I'll upgrade that. And we'll do it again. So, okay. 
Yeah, do that a couple of times. And we'll do that with everybody. So you can upgrade your second wind stamina refill. I guess we'll do that. 75% stamina refill. And then you can have power shot increased by two. So what is that? 15% increased area of effect. Oh, so when we hit the ball, it might potentially knock out... Um, um, sorry, when we hit the ball into some people in order to knock them out, maybe it'll knock down more people? Possibly. And that's what that might be about. So we completed that. Um, oh, that's what that meant. A skill point in the team coach menu where we just were. Okay, upgrade a player perk to rank two. Okay, we haven't done that. And reach 50 fans. We're nowhere near getting that. In fact, we're losing fans, if anything. Oh dear, we lost quite a chunk of fans. We've gone from 19 fans down to 12 fans. That is a huge portion of people that have left us. Oh dear, they've gone to the other team. They've gone to the team in the nearby place that we just played. Um, okay, well, I don't think there's anything we can do, really. Uh, we could. These could stop resting. We could get you to do some training. Um, yeah, you do finish off your speed training. And you can also do some speed training. So you're doing speed training, you're doing speed training, you're doing body training. Okay, and they've got a 20% bonus because we upgraded all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's lovely. Right, nothing else for us to do. On to the next. Okay, so I've moved time on a little bit and our application for a proper license has completed, which is very good. So it says there we'll unlock the local cup. So we can go and play in a local cup, which is lovely. Also, the memories of our defeat have faded and the fans have started trickling back. So we're back to 18 fans, which is nice. There we go. Your club is now registered and licensed to compete in the first tournament called Local Cup. How imaginative. Now the journey to challenge other football clubs in the world begins to compete at higher level. Your team must prove themselves first in minor competitions. If you can win local cup, you will advance to regional cup. Okay, right, so we now have a bit of a challenge. The Football Central database login. As a licensed club, you now have access to Sports Central network database. You can log in whenever. He can have information about current top players, top clubs, competitions, and top arenas. There are currently 43 registered clubs in the world and 267 players. Your club will also be listed in the database. I am not sure we should be, but okay, fine. Um, so what, what's that then? That's there. So the world of football. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is very fancy. Oh, we're up here. Oh, this is where we are. Oh, and there's Darfield. Boo. Oh, these are the different regions. This is Pacifica. This is Kinatu. So we live in Stormhome. So we are in this bit up here in the region of Stormhome. Oh, that's exciting. Are we in here? Um, no, we're not in the Storm Home League. We're not actually in the league yet. Okay. Oh, I got excited there. Top players. Kale, Arturo, Shepard, Schroeder. Oh, these are all midfielders and and, defend, and, um, and forwards. Where are the defenders? Why are there no defenders who are top players? What if we go to there? Kinatu top players. There you go. Hammond. Hammond shining a light for defenders everywhere. Um, okay. Come out of that then. So now do we have a... Do we have a game? Is there a game that we can play now? I do not know. Um, let's go into here. No events planned. Ah, start operation. Okay. Let's do this. What's this? Board meeting. No cost. Ah, we gain club points. That could be useful. Team analytics, cost points, promotion campaign, press conference. To get press coverage for your club based on their fame rating. <laughs> do we have a fame rating? Or order some products. <gasps> Yes, can we order some products, please? Let's order 50 units of stuff. Yes, absolutely. Order's been sent to a factory. Okay, we've got the 100 taken out. We should expect some stuff soon. Okay, can we do that again? Or are we now not allowed to do another operation? Okay, it's one operation per per day, I suppose. Okay, fine. We've signed up for the local cup. It's time for your first competition. It's a minor tournament with four teams that face off in a single match playoff. The champions will advance to the regional cup. Now it is the time to prove your team has what it takes. Okay, so we're playing Boo, Darfield, New Haven, and Ocean Song. Okay, uh, best of one match. Okay, yes, we're doing that. How do we carry on? Okay, yes, we're playing in the playing in a game. So we're playing in the Yorkshire Gold Arena. So our arena gets to see some action for the first time. Oh, this is lovely. Um, okay. Uh, well, hang on a minute. No, that's the wrong button. Let's move on. Sign a document to take care of business. What am I doing? Oh, I've got to sign up for the Yorkshire Gold Arena. 
Your club hereby accept to pay rent weekly to the town hall and Mayor Stevenson to use the town stadium as your club arena, to use the Yorkshire Gold Arena. Thank you. Mayor Stevenson has agreed to let the club invest in expansion and upgrades for the arena at any time. Rent costs will increase based on current property value. Okay, so we need to pay 115 per week. We could be going out of business very soon. Okay, so there we go. We've got ourselves our, our stadium. Yorkshire T Arena, no, no, Yorkshire Gold Arena, sorry, is now here. So if we continue to the next day, they're all doing some training, which is marvellous. They might be a bit tired. We could possibly let them have a little lie down, maybe. Maybe we need to give them a rest before the actual game starts. Oh, crikey, we've got to pay the bills. This, this could be bad. We've only got 900 money as it is. So we've got to pay all this money out. So 436 monies. Travel costs... It cost us $250 to go over to that place where we played a game and lost. <laughs> $250. Okay, fine. Yes, we'll continue. Well done. You have paid your bills. You are now almost broke. Okay, fine. So we we'll hope that that, you know, make sure that we've got some more money next time. Um, these two are having a rest. He has just learned a new thing. That's good. So he's improved his kicking ability, which is useful. So then he will need to have a rest when we can actually sort that out. Although that shot there, that actually shows pretty well his kicking abilities. Let's hope that he gets better before we play our next game. Oh, okay, right. Our next game is now. I think we're going to the tournament. Okay, let's continue then. Right, we've got 20 spectators. They are over here. I do like this. So our mentality is to chase the ball and our focus is to shoot. That's what we're going to try and do. We've got a better team scale. Oh, it's Darfield. <gasps> it's the old enemy of Darfield. Okay, we must avenge our loss. Okay, we're on home ground. We're at the Yorkshire Gold Arena. So hopefully our 20 spectators can cheer us on. Travelling to the home arena. You could just walk. You could probably just walk there. Or, you know, get public transport. Or do not make me pay 250 monies. Also, we seem to have a tree in the middle of our arena. And what? Do we not have grass? Okay, this is terrible. Only oh, bounces off the tree stumps. It bounces actually off the stumps. Oh, right. Okay. And a rock. There's rocks. <laughs> I think we need to upgrade our stadium ever so slightly because this place is awful. This place is terrible. Oh, no. We've had two shots again. Oh, we've had so many shots at goal. Put it in the net, my good sir. For goodness sake. You're right. How could you miss? Morrison, show them how it's done. Oh no, Jones is having a little sit down. Morrison, the, the goal is right there. It was at your mercy. And now, oh, we were saved by a rock. Okay, there's nobody at the back. Can we get the ball, please? Okay, now we all seem to be at the back. You just had a shot at a tree stump. Run through the middle and pass it to him as he goes to the middle. Not like that. Right, da Dotson or whatever you are, shoot. Oh no, our player's gone down. Jones is down, Jones is down. Morrison runs in. Time is ticking down. We've only got 30 seconds left. Oh no. Oh, off the post. <laughs> we are just scraping through. Oh dear, this isn't going well, is it? Right. Control and a shot. That was a terrible shot. Morrison banged into a tree stump. Why isn't Jones up front? Jones just keeps getting tired. Do we need to improve Jones's stamina a little bit? Maybe that's what we need to work on. Jones gets tired awfully easily. Uh, shoot. J there's a tree stump there. Don't shoot where there's a tree stump. Ah, oh, <laughs> I think that might have been going in had we had another second. Right. So now it is extra time. So we need to see. Right. We've knocked out their player. This is a perfect chance. He's missed again. <laughs> He's missed again. Shoot. There's a rock there. Don't hit the rock. So we have now an extra 90 minutes. Ah, forward is awful. Doesn't even know what a goal looks like. Maybe he's not aware of the shape of the goal and we need to tell him. I mean, I can understand the defender in the midfielder not being able to shoot. But the guy whose job it is to shoot at the goal. To shoot upon the goal, sir. <laughs> he just doesn't do it. Come on. Come on now. Oh, right. We're taking one of their players down. It's a Morrison. The goal is at your mercy. Oh, he's hit the post again. <laughs> How have we hit the post again? Oh, my goodness me. Right, Morrison, the ball is there. Oh, no. Jones is tired. Morrison is tired. All of our players are tired. And we, uh, everyone is now just stood about. It, it's it's for them to win. It's for them to win. We haven't got anyone at the back. Oh, no. <laughs> now their player is tired. <laughs> and is it going in? Oh, <laughs> kicking it. 
Hey, well done, Jones. Oh, what a, what a classy, a classy, well worked goal that was. That was brilliant. The ball just bouncing between the posts. That was very, very silly. Oh, oh, I thought they were going to equalise. No, they have not equalised. We need to survive another few seconds. Another 10 seconds and we'll be okay. Jones, I don't know why you're down there. You could have run onto the ball. That was a terrible shot. Oh, no. Right, one second. We have just won. That was a little, that was a hard fought win. <laughs> we are not the best at, at the footballs. Um, however, we did make 260 on ticket sales. Wow, we are charging quite a bit there. We've got a club point, we've got a winning streak, and we've got some club fame. So we've got a 200% fan boost. Oh, that's good. And they've all got some extra XP and what have you. That is marvellous. Fans milestone. Yeah, we're on our way to 50 fans. Um, okay, so now do we play again? Do we play Ocean Song next time? So we've taken out Darfield. Ocean Song took out New Haven. So now it's us versus Ocean Song. We've qualified for the finals. Hurrah! And the fans are dancing in the street. I think one street would suffice. I think one street, maybe even a cul-de-sac, <laughs> could probably fit our 28 fans in. The final will begin at your home arena in the next round. Remember that you can click on your opponent in the tournament menu to read about their composition and tactics. Okay. Don't know if I really need to do that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Manage our arena. Can we, can we make it not terrible? Can we get some points in this and make it not awful? Because it is really quite shocking at the minute. How do we do this? A thousand to upgrade the arena. <gasps> oh my goodness me. Yeah, I wouldn't mind upgrading the pitch. Because the pitch, it, it, it's just a sort of, it's a terrible, I don't know, muddy mess. It's like a sort of a World War One no man's land kind of area. Yeah, we could do with upgrading that, but no money right now. Um... Okay, right, never mind, never mind, we can't do that. Let's just, let's move it on and see if we can win that game. Let's see if we can win the next game that we've got to play. Can we win the final and get through to whatever it is that lets us go next? The regional cup, was it? Okay, we've had a couple of days of rest. We have got over 50 fans, which is very good. So I'm quite happy with that. So let's go and do this. Let's go and play the final. So it's us versus Ocean Song. Letters. I mean, we can always have a look at this. They play in a flat line. They've got oh, they've got two strikers and a midfielder. So yeah, see, we haven't got that. I'm quite happy with our defence like that. We've got two people at the back to try and counter their two forwards, and then someone at the front that should be able to run a bit forward and score a goal. Although they're not the best at that, as we have seen. So let's continue. So okay, another twenty spectators at the Yorkshire Gold Arena. They are better than us. Their skill is better than ours. We will just have to hope that we, <laughs> that we fluke a goal or two. Okay, let's see how we get on then. So, uh, yeah, we couldn't upgrade the pitch, obviously, because we haven't got enough money. It costs $1,000 to dig up these tree stumps and get those rocks out of the way. So, already Walker has taken out one of our people. Um, how about... Right, hang on, hang on. Tactics. We seem to be just shooting the ball whenever we can. Right, maybe dribble the ball. And maybe because they're good, let's bring this back and try and hold position. Let's try and just get this at the back. Yes, they're focused on shooting. Maybe if we hold position and then try and dribble round them, that might work. We'll give that a go, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just the fact that we're terrible at shooting. Oh, and now all of our players are over here and the goal is open. <laughs> They've missed. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Right. Can we get the ball? Oh, all of our players are down. I think all of our players are lying on the floor. Um, their players are equally as bad at shooting, however, which is quite handy. So Jones is, I don't know what Jones is doing. Jones is just bouncing the ball off of the wall constantly. Dotson, Datson, whatever your name is, just shoot. Okay. Uh, can we move time on a bit quicker? Yes, we can. Okay, right. We can speed time on. Dotson got, got, got tired there. <laughs> they get tired so quickly. Morrison is completely unconscious. That was a terrible shot. Oh, who knows where the ball is now? It's all the way up there. It's all the way up there. Okay, it's in their half. <gasps> oh, I thought that might have just trickled in there. Oh, but they are very bouncy. Oh, good save, Dotson. It's a glorious save. Jones, you could have just hit that toward the goal. There's nobody over there. <laughs> oh, Jones is awful. Jones is terrible. I need to show him a picture of a goal and say, right, this thing here. This is the ball, which is the round thing. Put it in between the upright bits of that. 
hang on, hang on, hang on. Could he do it? No, he couldn't. <laughs> I thought he might score, but no. He got the ball taken off him, and now he's just sort of stood there staring at it. Is it going to go in? Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought we were done for. It could come back to us. Oh, no. Walker has scored. It's 1-0 to Ocean Song. <laughs> it's all gone. It's all gone terrible. Right, hang on. We need to change our mentality now. We need to chase the ball and we need to shoot. That's what we need to do. Oh. <laughs> Did we even do anything? Did we even try? It looked like they just scored from the kickoff. Right, okay. Another another go. Uh, right, okay. Now we, we seem to have got the ball at least. Oh, we are. We are not the best at the footballs. Okay, right. And then you're going to run in and presumably you're going to score as well. Uh, no, okay. Oh, that could have gone in. That could have deflected in off the wall. It didn't, but it could have done. Jones? Jo <laughs> Jones? Oh, Jones. Oh, dearie me. It's just embarrassing, Jones. That's your one job. Your one job is to strike the ball unto the goal. And you've found all of our players are in that corner in a heap. <laughs> just looking confused. Oh, dear. Right. We've got a few seconds left. We, we, could, we, can, we can sort this out. Why are we all in a corner? What is this? <laughs> some sort of some sort of ruck. Okay, right. The ball is coming back this way. Dotson has the ball. Walker. Oh, and Dotson tries a tries a tackle, but fails miserably and is now tired because of it. Morrison has a shot, which was terrible. He's having a shot, which is terrible. Because they are aware there's tree stumps in the way, aren't they? They do know that they are tree stumps. And Ocean Song have claimed the title. Oh no. <laughs> Sad fans. Oh, it's heartbreak. It's heartbreak for the attendance at the Yorkshire Gold Arena. Walker was the man of the match. And yeah, okay, we got some XP and stuff for it. And we got ticket sales and what have you. But we did not win the North Local Cup. We have lost, so we do not qualify for the Regional Cup. Oh dear, second place. The, <laughs> the fans are crying in pain. They've probably been hit in the face by our striker because he hit everywhere else except the goal, it seems. Yeah, your team lost the finals and finished second place in the tournament. You did a great job to go as far as you did in the tournament. Better luck next time. Okay, thank you. Well, there we go. We didn't win. We came a valiant second place, which is a shame because I kind of hoped that we might have won that one and taken our first, sort of our first piece of silverware, our first honours, but we didn't. And there we go. More's the pity, but never mind. And do you know what? I think we've seen enough of this game to kind of get a picture of what it's about. And if you like this sort of thing, if you like a sort of little development thing where you can invest in the points and get the players trained up and stuff, then yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, yeah, as I said earlier, I didn't actually play. I've not really seen Boxing School or Gladiator School. I imagine they are a little bit like this, but with the different respective things. And so, you know, boxing and gladiatoring. I imagine it's got those in, but I don't imagine they're too far from this sort of, uh, this, you know, sort of template of a game. But yeah, if you like that kind of thing, then yes, it is It is very enjoyable. You know, you can train your players. You can give them different perks. You've got the element of the tactics there, which is interesting. You've got your money. You can upgrade your stadiums and all that kind of stuff. And I guess that would be the goal, wouldn't it? To get everything here installed, upgrade your stadium so it's actually nice and not just some sort of pile of mud with rocks in. And then, um, and then yeah, go from there and take on the bigger teams and win. And of course, have some idea of tactics as well. We just kind of bumbled our way through. But you know what? Second place, I will absolutely take that. But there we go. We didn't win, but we gave it a good shot. If you have enjoyed this, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other the nonsense and shenanigans that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bazzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> Is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush. 